Can you tell us a little bit about the Enlightenment? Empiricism was introduced by John Locke in 1689. The people drive the government was his main idea. His work influenced the men who set the American Revolution in motion. Absolute monarchy, introduced by Thomas Hobbes, argued people are self-interested and cannot be trusted to govern society. Rationalism chose reason and logic rather than observation. Based on a group of writers including Voltaire and Jean Jacques Rousseau, and traces back from Rendecatus. Now to Ashley with economics. This is Ashley here, ready to discuss the economic aspect of enlightenment. When it comes to the economy, enlightenment is what improved it. Adam Smith, a Scottish economist, established economics and three laws by writing The Wealth of Nations. Those three laws were that people would work with more um, productivity if they liked what they did. The second law is that competition creates a balance for the market. And the last law is that a true supply and demand would lead to free trade. The man who inspired Smith was a French economist named Francois Quesset, who also wrote about having trade with limited government intervention. He wrote this in, in his writing called Tableau Economique, explaining how less government intervention would benefit society and also an individual person. Now here's Kiana with religion. Thanks Ashley. Voltaire was a French Enlightenment writer. He spoke against the Catholic Church. He didn't believe that the church was the main source of everything. He believed that people could believe what they wanted he also thought that just because someone isn't a part of the church or wasn't allowed in it, they should still be treated like people. New ideas and beliefs spread around due to the increase in literacy. Voltaire also didn't believe that the church should should have as much power as they did. Rousseau also believed that it was okay not to be a part of the Catholic Church. He thought that people should have freedom of, freedom of discussion about religious matters. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm interviewing Ty. So Ty, what did the philosophers believe in the Enlightenment? Hello Daniel. I'll tell you about it. The Enlightened philosophers believed nature and society operated according to certain basic universal principles which they referred to as natural laws. They further believed that people could use their reason to discover these laws and then apply this knowledge to improve the quality of life. So Ty, what was one of the philosophers that had an impact during the Enlightenment? One of the Enlightenment philosophers was Thomas Jefferson. He was a part of the Declaration of Independence which recognized the existence of natural laws such as the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It stated the purpose of government was to protect these rights. This demonstrated the strong influence on Locke on colonial thinking as well. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Ty, for telling us about the social script during the Enlightenment. 